Hey there, stackers. My order of the 2022 Tudor Beast line came in. And so this was an order I placed the first day I saw these available at several US dealers, including on eBay. And that happened to be the cheapest price all around. So I was able to order two rolls of this first issue in the Boolean version. If you all have been keeping track with this series, the Panther was released in a proof. And this is the first Boolean version of the design. The Tudor Beast is continuing the successful Queen Beast series. And they do overlap the same beast, so we may see a variation of the designs. This lion on the website through pictures, it really didn't look that appealing or that great. And now that I have them in hand, they are much better than what I anticipated. I do think the 2016 Queen v Beast version does have a better design overall, but this is actually not bad. I'm pleasantly surprised with how this design came out. These are 2 ounce 0 .999 uh, silver, and this is the first of 10 designs that will be released. So this is the line of England. There's also another line, I believe Lion of Mortimer, if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, but this is uh, the first design. I don't know, I think the, the not so great design uh, perception by many may actually help this in the long run, meaning there might be fewer of these minted if future designs uh, are better and people are interested in collecting them. So, uh, regardless, these were a very good price even for bullion, uh, regular bullion coins. And uh, I do find these to be in the category of coins with an upside. And that is my approach with spot price at these prices. And so I decided to take a gamble on this. Uh, I, I haven't been buying a lot of silver and I'm stashing dry powder for when... Uh, good releases come out and I consider this a good release and a good series. It'll take five years to complete uh, if they keep, they keep the same schedule that they did with the Queen's Beast. So on average releasing two designs per year. Now when I first received the package even before opening it I could tell that the coins were a bit loose in the tubes and those of you that are familiar with these coins they come in tubes where they probably uh, include the Britannias and other uh, Royal Mint uh, releases. And those hold up to 25 ounces. Uh, these come in sets of 10 within the tube. So I don't know if the dealer packaged them wrong or if that's how they came through from the Royal Mint. But these banged around quite a bit inside the tube. I will be contacting this uh, dealer and hopefully they will be able to switch these out and uh, make it right. Uh, so that is one question for some of you. If, if some of you have placed orders of these or other designs, what does the packaging inside look like? As I showed uh, earlier, uh, these only had a small packaging peanut in there. So it was rattled along quite a bit and the packaging peanut actually came apart or you know, some of the pieces got loose. You'll be able to see that in my glove as I pull these out. But, you know, I don't expect these to be perfect, but uh, I don't like having the ring uh, marks all around. So I'll go through these and see how many are not in the best condition. And I'll, I'll see what the dealer can do about it. Regardless, I think this is a great coin, a uh, great price, potential for uh, appreciating over time. And so we'll see how that goes. I was also able to get the gold quarter ounce version. Um, I'll probably collect these this size. It's a lot more affordable than collecting the one ounce. So I'll stick with it. I'll try to collect the quarter ounce, uh, one or two each year, and we'll go from there. But uh, this gold version does look perfect. It, you know, it doesn't look damaged at all. It came in a flip, and I'll be putting this in a capsule. I think I have a black ring capsule here. Um, so I'll drop that in there. These do not come with coin capsules, uh, none of the gold nor the silver version. So it's good to keep them encapsulated. 
So there it is. It's a direct fit. It is the same size as an American Eagle quarter ounce. So if you have any of those laying around, you can use that for these uh, Tudor Beast Dragon, I'm sorry, Lion Coins. Uh, so now this one's safely secured in there. And uh, we'll see how things go out. So thanks for taking a look. And yeah, let me know if any of you ordered full tubes from any other dealers and how they arrived. I'm really hoping that, uh, you know, it was just a few coins that are damaged, but we'll see what they all look like once I check them all out. Thanks again. See you all later.